And here we go with more Super Mega Baseball. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Mr. Hurricane. It is episode number 84. And today, it's game 14. We are in second place because we've lost to the Crocodons twice. And we take on the Wide Loads. They are in third place. They're two games back. And if we lose this one, it's going to be a very interesting last couple games. So let's make sure we don't lose this game. So it's episode number Lance Adams today. We'll see if he can deliver and have a nice game. Now the key for us, it's been pretty apparent for a while, although I haven't really talked up this storyline very much. We suck in the first inning. And there was a comment on the last episode, number 83, that we've only scored first in I think three games this season. We've somehow won nine. Six have been games where we did not score first. But what's been a trend since the playoffs last year is horrible first innings. We have to get out of this one. Last episode, Andy McKenzie gave up five runs in the first. Although there was some defense that played a, a part in that. And quickly here, we have two down. Now, it's not just giving up runs in the first inning that's been an issue. It's also been scoring runs in the first inning. Hey, three ground outs here to begin? We're off to a fine start. Now, most of my strikeouts seem to come in the first inning when I'm getting kind of, you know, used to the timing of the pitching and whatnot and warming up a bit, so. We'll see what's in store this time around as Flash Jackson grounds out. Nothing but ground out so far here in game 14. And I don't like hitting off left-handed pitching. It's, I don't know, even in like other baseball games, as a right-handed hitter, I don't like hitting off lefties that much. I prefer righties. I'm not sure why. So, two down for Lance Adams, and I just, I don't trust myself to hit those very well. Whoops, bad radical usage there. And strike three. Some nice pitching there from Chug Burbany. We go down on two ground outs and one strikeout, and now back to pitching. That's getting out of, out of play. And Chimo Gaspar swings through strike two. And what do we want to go for with the strikeout? We'll go screwball inside. Got him swinging. Not bad, Andrew Johnson. I also showed at the end of last episode that all of our starters have given up, have a, uh, a five ERA or greater. And that's not even being exact. It's probably like 5.35 or something like that. It's just not good for our starters. And that is slicing foul. Couple strikes here to Elleroyds, who has good mojo. And taking care of business here is Andrew Johnson with that second strikeout of the inning. And here's a grounder to short. We're out of the second. One hit allowed. Not bad. Not bad at all. So Andrew Ross trying to get our first base runner of the day. All right, one and one. There we go, a liner to center, and a diving catch or a sliding catch. That was impressive. But a base hit by Maurice Manning gives us a man on first. It takes us to Darren Rose trying to keep his average above 300. And he hits this off the glove of the second baseman. And everybody's safe. It counts as a single there for Rose. Now Corey Boyd trying to get his average up. I'd like to see him closer to 275 at least. Hey, a single the center. We have three straight hits and the bases are juiced. However, they are juiced for the pitcher. And that's not an ideal situation. Wait, no. Jonathan starts. So I forgot about him. I always forget this, this order. It doesn't really change, but I somehow forget things. Now... Starks had a big triple last episode. And he's now behind in the count after I laid off a really good pitch to begin this AB. One and two. Soft grounder. Is he going to be able to leg this out? He does. And we tack on the first run of the game for only the fourth time this season. All right, Andrew Johnson trying to extend the inning. And that's not going to do it. Hit to the left side, Gaspar on to second, and second inning is complete, but we have a lead. 
it's not a bad start for us here. Now I think you're gonna see some more games on the channel here pretty soon. This is we're getting to video game season really. September hits, you get a few games every now and then, and more as you approach middle of November. And today, Forza Horizon 3 comes out, and I'm a big Forza Horizon fan, although I really did not play much of 2, and that is an infield single. I just enjoyed the first game so much, and uh, I'm excited to get into 3. And you're going to see that here on my channel. I'm not sure today or tomorrow when I'll have some videos up. And you'll see some more content from not sports games as well as I get into more of those. I've been playing the Bioshock collection a little bit. But uh, I'm not looking to do like full on let's plays on this channel right now. Not story based let's plays. I'm more into... Oh man, a strike out there for Andrew Johnson to end the inning. I want to do more with open world games that I can get into and do some cool stuff with you guys. So... When those opportunities arise, I definitely want to try more of that, or maybe some multiplayer um, shooters like Battlefield. I thought about uh, Destiny Rise of Iron. I haven't played it yet. I was looking forward to it, but I wasn't really in a rush to play it. But still, as far as most series go, they will remain on these sports games. This is Leon Daniels. Hit deep to left center and laying out. You gotta be kidding me. That was an amazing play. Somehow, ranged out to make that catch. Oh well. Lance Adams. And Adams puts this deep in the gap. Don't tell me another dive. Oh, the dive comes up short. And the man here in episode number 84 gets a two-out triple. So yeah, just to sum up what I was talking about, basically keep an eye out on some other content I might be posting. Um, definitely Forza Horizon 3 is on the way. And off the glove again! There we go, the second run home. Andrew Ross drives in another RBI. And here's Maurice Manning, still looking for his first homer this year. Oh, that was not the way I expected that hit to go. Oh boy, deep to left. It's going back, and that is gone! The first homer of the year for Maurice Manning. Gives us a 4-0 lead. Three hits here with two down. Nice bounce back day. We only have one losing streak this season. It was much earlier in the year. And another hit. This time Rose has his second. Alright, Corey Boyd. And another base hit. Five in a row. Not six. Oh well, four nothing here in the third inning is a pretty good situation for us. Now back to Andrew Johnson who has three strikeouts today. And now Hack Liner, one of their best hitters, hits that softly back to Andrew and he gets the first out. By the way, if there are any other games that you guys want to see on this channel, not like full on series necessarily, but I would like to take a day or two out of the week and kind of go with some more random stuff. Get some more variety on here. That's going deep to center, and that's way back. So, they get their first run of the day. It's 4-1. to one. But if there's a game you guys would like to see on this channel, just leave your feedback down below in the comment section. Now it's Elleroids. And that's going high in the air to center. Flash underneath it. And let's go hit again. Bottom four, here we go. It's four to one. You've scored in two consecutive innings. Outside. Gaspar's mojo's not doing so well, so if we can get some runners in scoring position, we can really take advantage of that. Here's Jackson. Oh man! Drilled that one right to third base. Hack liner with the catch and now Leon. Only three RBIs for a guy hitting 340 high in the order. That's ridiculous. Behind in the count now. And Daniels lines out. So Leon has had a hit taken away on the warning track by a dive. And now that. 
base hit to begin the fifth inning for the wide loads. Still only one run allowed though by Andrew Johnson. It's a good day for him so far. Maybe uh, if he can keep it up, the ERA will go down a bit. Not bad here. We go around the horn. Is that what they call it? I don't know. That's hit the center. Dive in! Diving, sliding. I keep saying diving. All right, you guys know. Let's go hit. Bottom five, four, one. And Lance Adams. Rounds out to begin this one. It's okay, Andrew Ross's turn. And off the glove. Trying to bounce back. That's a nice play right there. That player, um... Oh my, Maurice Manning deep to right. He's got his second of the day. But as I was saying, that second baseman's had some tough plays and now it is bouncing back to make some great ones. But man, Maurice Manning, no homers entering today, just has his second. Oh no, Darren Rose, he's trying to go deep as well. That's hit back to the edge of the grass. Now Friedman. Fork ball for strike two. Looking for the strikeout here. Friedman pops up. This will be a tough play as Starks goes back. No problem. Darcy Hicks. We'll take that. Another pop up for Andrew Johnson. He's almost through six innings. Hack liner. They really haven't had much patience here at the plate. They're not working the count very much. Now granted, a lot of these pitches are like close to the zone. Oh no, come on, recover. Not happening. Can Johnson get Gaspar out? No, two straight hits here or a hit and an error. So we'll try to save a run. Wade Hobbs. And there's the pop up for Leon Daniels. Not having to move very far, no prob. All right, Corey Boyd, two singles on the day, leading off the sixth for us, and there's his third base hit. Maybe that average will creep up towards uh, 275. Here's Jonathan Starks, and there's the mojo I talked about, and Starks puts that in the air, but an easy play. I always expected Starks to be so much better in this series. His contact is so good. Right. Why did I swing at that pitch? Like, what was... I don't know what I was thinking about that one. That was the worst at-bat ever. That's going to give Gaspar some, uh... Some mojo, probably. Underneath that one, a tad, and the 99 power goes to waste. Easy play after... We had a nice leadoff single. Pop up again. Leon Daniels wants this one, I think. Got it. How many innings will Andrew Johnson pitch? We'll see. Stamina is now around half. And a grounder on the way to Starks out number two. Now we have Harmony Straw. and misses that one. We go two swinging strikes and the fork bull fouled off. Let's try this two seamer away. Popped up again. Wide loads not doing a very good job at the plate today. Bottom seven now, Leon Daniels. Can he connect on one and actually reach base? Let's go in deep and Leon Daniels has exited the building. All right, Leon, you had two. Great hits taken away, but he delivers the long ball there. Was that his first homer of the year or his second? I forget already. Line out to the pitcher. All right, Ross. Can Ross give one a ride? Oh, you bet. Leave the stadium. Keep going. 450 feet that was over. 464. We're seeing the power today, guys. Four home runs. When was our last four home run episode? 
Oh, man. Another great line out. Can Darren Rose hit a homer? Oh, this has a chance. That's going deep to right. It is not out, but it is not out. Wait. Out in two senses of the word. You know what I mean. It's a two-out triple, okay? I'm hitting well today. Give me a break. Corey Boyd. 296 average now. Oh, no. I want to see the Corey Boyd from those playoffs. I want to see that Corey Boyd come back. And that is off the glove of Friedman. And Boyd retired. All right, Andrew Johnson. Chug Burbany looks at ball one. Seven to one game here for the B-Wolves. We don't have a lot of blowout victories. Like, we have so much competition here on 80 Ego. The games like this are few and far between. Um, who's going to cover the base? Thank you. Like, Ross almost made Andrew cover that. Janice Friedman up the line. That might go fair. On the chalk. Oh, come on, ump. They're down six. You know you just want to get out of here. The game's close to over. Not too bad. Another strike out there for Andrew Johnson. Now Darcy Hicks. Underneath that one, another easy play. They are not challenging our defense at all. Bottom eight. Can we tack on any more runs? Jonathan Starks. Very poor ego here for Bourbony. And there is a single for Jonathan. Now we're up by six runs. It's time for Andrew Johnson to take a seat and for Eric Carter to get out of his. Eric Carter pinch hitting. We never see him play until now. He's had a few at-bats in his career, but not too many. Come on, Eric. Carter hit to the third base, and Carter has grounded into a double play. So, I gave you a chance, Eric. Whoops. Can Flash continue the day for us? A fifth home run, perhaps? We have to get to Lance again, right? A chance to walk and there it is the bat flip off the walk I'm a fan of that Leon Daniels will face Molly Pops all right Leon let's get to Lance one more time oh that's not gonna work come on Leon Daniels on the ground a second and we're going to the ninth. So no Lance Adams. We will see pitching. Let's go Evan Newton. Who has our best ERA and is top 10 in the league. Very nice episode for us here. The hitting was fantastic. We gave up one long ball, but not many hits and not much great contact. The defense definitely hasn't been challenged. On the ground here for Starks. And there are two away in the ninth inning. One out from another victory looking for win number 10. And that is caught by Darren Rose. Ball game. A 7-1 victory for the B-Wolves. We scored in four innings today. We had 14 hits to their six. We struck out twice. They did four times. And also we hit four home runs. Andrew Johnson's ERA still not in a good spot, but at least he gets the victory. Very nice day for our entire team. That's what you want to see here late in the season. And with our 10th win on the season, the wide load 7th loss, we are going to the playoffs again this year. So it looks like it'll be us and the Crocodons once again, and they swept us last season in the playoffs. We have two more games to go. We take on the Herbosaurs next and then the Platypie. But we're we're doing pretty well right now. I'm pretty happy with this team. 10 and 4. Only one losing streak this year. And our losses were by 4, by 2, by 2, and by 4. So we haven't really been blown out this season. And we haven't really blown anybody else out until this last game. If you count a 6-run differential, a blowout. I personally would. So... 
We take on the Herbosaurs next. Here are the stats as we wrap up episode Lance Adams. Thank you guys for watching another episode of this awesome game. I love playing this game. This series has been so much fun. Thank you all again for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. We're top three in average there with Andrew Ross. Subscribe for more of my content. Let me know what you thought of today's episode down in the comment section. And I will see you guys next time. Man, those Crocodon pitchers. Bishop Fuller, a .64. We're probably going to see them in the playoffs, or I think we're guaranteed to. I'm not looking forward to their pitching, but we have to hit off of them. You have to beat the best to be the best. So, I'll see you guys next episode. Have a great day.